so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my Pokemon Fukubukuro, which is the lucky bag from the Pokemon Center in Japan. So the package just arrived today, so I'm going to take it out of the box here. I do also have a second Fukubukuro to open. So this is the Sanrio one that I got from the Sanrio online website. So this one will be opened in another video coming up on my channel really soon. So I'll just move this one out of the way and down the bottom there is the Pokemon bag. So I'm going to take this out and put it into my filming space. So here is one side of the bag, it has all these pictures of Pikachu on it and then the sides also have some Pikachu pictures as well. It's kind of hard to show you guys because it is quite a big bag, it doesn't quite fit in my filming space but I'll put up a picture of it as well if you guys want to see it. So the characters for this year are Eevee, Pikachu and Mew and the characters for last year were Rowlet, Alolan, Vulpix and Pikachu. So basically every bag for this year there will be one of the three plushies and they're bigger sized versions of the recent Pokemon Fit collection. And then there's also a tag here that has more of the artwork and it says that it's the Pika Pika bag for 2019. So if you guys don't know what a Fukubukuro is, it's basically a lucky bag that some shops put together um, at the end of the year to be sold on January 1st, 2nd and 3rd usually in Japan. And it can contain some like old stock that they weren't able to sell or some new things made specifically for the bags. And usually you're able to get it at a really discounted price. So this year's Pika Pika bag was 4,000 yen. Basically the idea is that the end value of the bag will be a lot more than 4,000 yen. So at the end I'll also add up everything and tell you guys what the total was. On the top of the bag it is still sealed so I'm going to cut this open and I'll show you guys what's inside. So I'm going to do something similar to what I did last year for the Pokemon Lucky Bag. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But I'm just going to open it up and take one thing out at a time and show you guys what I got. So let's open up the bag and pull out the first item. Okay, just push it back a little bit. So let's grab a first item. So let's grab this one. So what's this? Are these stickers? I'm not sure. It has a Pikachu one. Have they kind of slipped up there a bit? Okay. Let me push this down. Okay, there we go. So these are stickers, and actually I really like these. These are really pretty. There's um, Rowlet and then also Pikachu, and um, Rowlet's name in Japanese is Mokuro, which is that one there. So there's the first item, which are some stickers. Let's grab the next thing. Ooh, I can see, yay, it's a blind box, and I saw a lot of people got these, and I was super happy about it, because I really love this series. But it's the Pokemon Dessert Plate Blind Box. And there's a couple of different ones on the side here. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I'm so excited to open this. So let me put that one off to the side for the moment. Put that one over there. Let's grab the next item. It feels like a plushie. Let's see. Oh, it's um, one of the birds. These are the Oricorio birds. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. But um, there's a couple of different versions of these. And I actually like this one the best. I think the colors are super pretty. So I'm really happy that I got this one. And it's part of the Pokemon Dolls collection. The Pokemon Center plushies are always really nice quality. So it's super soft as well. So there is the first plush that I got. Let's grab the next thing out of here. Um, I'm trying to feel, there's a couple of like plastic bags. So let me grab this here. Oh, it's an Alolan Vulpix thing. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, it's um, the Alolan Vulpix mascot paw. Oh, I'm so happy that I was able to get an Alolan Vulpix thing. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it even comes with a little like acrylic charm. Alolan Vulpix is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. So I'm really happy that I was able to get this. So it's a little keychain kind of like mascot plush. And there's the tag. And then also on the tag here, it has a little Alolan Vulpix. Let's put that one over there. And let's grab the next thing. Looks like this is another plushie. Oh, it's a Master Ball. Okay, that's pretty cool. I got a regular Pokeball from last year's one. So it's good that I was able to get a different one this year. So these are always nice to have, but it's the uh, mascot Master Ball. So there is that one there. Now let's grab something else out. I think. Let me see, there's a lot of plastic things, let's pull this out. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's a Pikachu and Mimikyu plushie. I saw a few people got these as well, and I'm actually really happy I got this one. I was hoping that I would get um, some nice plushies in this bag. So let's take this one out of the packaging. And it has this little base on it, which is really nice for display, actually. There's like a soft textured kind of bush, I think. Oh, does it, I think it's attached, oh, it's attached by Velcro. So you can probably remove them. It's also tied down by some strings, so I can probably take that off. Oh, and these are also Velcro down as well. Oh, that's really cool, actually. So you can, like, move them off the base if you want. That's really nice to have. And then here's the tag. So this was from a special Mimikyu series. I really like that they made it so you can actually take the plushies off. So that's a cute little item. I'm glad I got that one there. 
Let's grab the next thing out. I think I'll grab... It feels like this is a big, like, item in, like, plastic. Let me grab this blue. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. I think this is one of the, like, hoodies. I saw a lot of people got um, some of these. And it looks like I got Glaceon here. So this is a Glaceon poncho. And I actually got an Alolan Vulpix poncho last year. But this one is super cute. Oh, my gosh. It even has, like, a Glaceon head on the top. That's really cool. I'll put up a picture of this as well because it's kind of big. I can't really fit it all in my filming space. It's also attached by Velcro there. So I'm pretty happy with this. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. And I'm sure this would have been quite expensive um, because it is kind of like a plushy half up the top and then the rest of it is a really nice um, material down the bottom. So there is the Glaceon Poncho. Let me put that one off to the side for the moment. Let's grab the next item. Let's see if I can grab something from the back here. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I think it's some notebooks. So these were pretty common in the lucky bags this year. A lot of people got a lot of stationary items. This one comes with Eevee, Umbreon, Espeon, Leafeon, and Glaceon. And I actually really love stationery, so I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and then there is the back. Oh, I like that they have like the evolutions on the back as well. That's pretty cute. Here is the size in here, the Campus A notebooks. And let's see what else is in here. Try and reach down the back of the bag. Let's pull this out. Maybe it's a clear file, it looks like. Oh, it is. I think so. It's pretty simple with just like the line work for the Pokemon. And there's a little ditto there as well. And then the other one is a similar design in black. And there is the other side of them. Let's have a look and see what else is in here. We grab this. What's this? This looks like it's a notebook. Oh, it's the same design. So it's the same clear file pattern, but it's in a notebook. So the front cover has like this, this design here. And then, oh, it's like a shiny kind of um, metallic paper behind it. And look, oh, there's little Pokemon on each page. Yay, there's a Lolan Vulpix there. So yeah, there's um, different Pokemon on the pages. This is a nice little notebook, actually. I'm quite happy with that, that it's like matching. That's nice to have. Um, let's grab something else. I think this is another notebook. Yes, it is. So it's a Pikachu notebook. I think this one is from this series. They seem to match. So that's nice to have some more matching things. This notebook has like a different kind of texture on the front. It's kind of like a coarser kind of um, cardboard, I'd say. And then it has a little string there. And the design inside just has Pikachu up the top. Let's put that one over there. And uh, let's grab something else. Looks like, oh, there's some more little um, notebooks. Oh, yay, there's Sylveon in this one. Yay, that's super good. Sylveon is probably my favorite evolution, so I'm pretty happy with that. But this one comes with Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. And, oh, it's so cute. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, yeah, it's basically the same design as the other campus notebooks, except these ones a little bit smaller. Let's have a look and see what else is in here. Got something here. What's this? Oh, there's two things. Let's put that one back. What's this? This is another notebook. Actually, I've never seen this design before. This is really cute though. It's all like little stationary items with Pikachu, like a little Pikachu like clipboard and like pens and pencils and stuff. On the inside here, here's the different artwork. Oh, that's super cute. It has it up the top as well. And there is the back. I like the colors in this one. The pastels are super pretty. And let's grab the other thing that I just pulled out. What's this? This is a badge and it is, oh, what's this sheep's name? I'll put it up on the screen because I'm sure once I finish filming this, I'll remember. There is the can badge. I think they make a lot of different Pokemon in that kind of style can badge. I've seen a lot of them when I was in Japan. Um, let's grab something else. What can I grab here? Let's see. Oh, is it a little bag? Oh my gosh, it is. That's super cute. Okay, so this is a little like trainer's bag. I think this is from the um from one of the games like you can actually oh yeah it's lily's bag that's what i was gonna say i was i was like i recognize this but where's it from so this is a little mini version of lily's bag oh that's super cool i'm actually really happy with this too that's awesome um i could definitely like try and fit my like 3ds or something in here i think that would be super cute but let's see how this opens there's a little um tag up the top here which you can take off and then you can also open it like this and I think you could probably put this in like another bag and put like your phone or 3DS in that. It's a pretty good size but there's also a bigger strap here so if you wanted to carry it as like a separate piece then that's pretty good. Also if you wanted to like cosplay as Lily I think that would be a pretty good item as well. And also on the side there's the little Pokeball details. There's a few more items in here. Oh, I think that's the big plushie so let me grab that one out. Ooh, oh my gosh, I got Mew! Oh, 
Okay, it's not Eevee, which is probably the one that I wanted the most, but Mew is still pretty cute as well. I don't actually have any big Mew plushies, so this is actually nice to have. So let me take this out of the packaging. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, I'm actually really happy that I got Mew now um, because I do have quite a few big plushies of Pikachu and of Eevee, but um, nothing of Mew. But I can't really fit it all in the screen, so I'll put up a photo as well. So it's from the Pokemon Fit collection, and it's a 12-inch plush. And the quality is super nice. It's a really nice material. The eyes are embroidered on, which is cute. And the little um, feet bits are embroidered as well. And then on the back, it has Mew's tail. And it's a really, really pretty pink color. So I'm actually really happy that I was able to get this one. So let's put Mew over there for the moment. And I think there's still some more items in this bag. So let me grab this one. What's this? Oh, it's a little um, keychain of Cosmog or Nebby and also Lily's bag, I think. Oh, that's super cute. I've actually never seen this one either. The figures inside look really detailed as well. Like there's the little sparkles on Nebby and the bag looks exactly like the one that I just got before. There is a little key ring, which is cool. And let's grab, let's see if there's anything else. I think there's one big item here. Let's grab this. I think it might be a bag of some sort. I think that's everything, but yeah, it looks like this is a, maybe it's a tote bag. Ooh, this is really cool. This is a tote bag, which I think is the same design as the stickers and the notebook that I got before. But let me take this out of the packaging. It's quite big actually. So it is the Pokemon um, 25 since 1996 and this is actually really nice oh my gosh um this would be like a perfect like beach bag i think because it's pretty big so up the top here there's a little pouch which also has the details inside and let's open the inside oh it has that pattern as well so there is the label for the inside and then the back is just a plain white color so that was everything that's in the bag let me put it all together in my filming spot and show you guys so that was everything that was in my Pokemon Center Lucky Bag for 2019. So overall, I'm super happy with everything that was in the bag. I really like all the stationary items and I also really love the plushies as well. So I will definitely add up everything that was in this bag and put it on the screen for you guys so you guys can see how much it was actually valued at. I might not be able to find all the items on the Pokemon website because some of them might be from older series which aren't listed anymore. So I'll just take them away from the total and tell you guys which ones were on screen instead. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite from this bag. I really loved all the plushies from this year's bag, especially the giant Mew plushie. I'll also be uploading a video about the Sanrio Lucky Bag that I bought. So keep an eye on my channel for that one as well if you guys are interested in watching more Lucky Bag unboxings. Also let me know if you'd like to see the mini desserts figure opened in a Mavis Mystery Mayhem episode or on my Instagram stories. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!